Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and that was Puppy and Alfred. And if it seems like they were being filmed on some kind of hidden camera, it's because they kind of were. And that's what today's video is all about. A couple of months ago, a little bit before the holidays, I was gifted this pet camera slash treat dispenser. And actually, it's marketed as a pet camera slash treat dispenser for dogs, but you know, it's safe to assume puppy's name is puppy. So that kind of makes him like an equal opportunity domesticated house creature. But I received this device in, I think it was like mid-November, and it stayed in its box in the house unopened for at least a couple of weeks because if you don't know this about me, I'm kind of unimpressed when it comes to technological things and, and anything having to do with what seems like convenient technology devices and tools. And I just tend to find most of that stuff pretty unnecessary and kind of more distracting than it is helpful. So back to the pet cam. Finally, after a couple of weeks, I decided to set it up, which took like five minutes. I basically just pulled it out of the box, plugged it in, downloaded the app. And honestly, you guys, this is one of the coolest little supposedly unnecessary, but actually pretty functional things that you can put in your house, whether you have a cat or a dog, especially if you stay outside of the home long hours, whether it's because you're working, whether it's because you travel a lot and just want to check in. This Woe Pet pet camera and treat dispenser <laughs> grew on me so much that I decided to not only make this video, but I bought one for a good friend of mine who has a dog and happens to work long hours away from the house. And I actually reached out to Wopet who creates this particular pet camera because there are a bunch of different versions out there. And I told them how I really liked it and I was going to share how it works and stuff in a video with you guys, the awesome Cat Lady Fitness family. And I asked them if they would be willing to have a giveaway for one of my viewers and one of you guys here. They also thought that was a wonderful idea and agreed to give away one of these pet cameras slash treat dispensers to one of you guys, which stick around because I'll tell you how you can win that at the end of this video. By the way, in case you're new here, welcome. We put out a new video typically every catter day and usually sprinkled in throughout the week. So if you're into cat stuff and especially kitty nutrition and raw cat food, or if you're into things for humans, which could be workouts, stress management tips, recipes, and honestly, whatever else I feel like posting, then please do join us here in the Cat Lady Fitness family by clicking on that subscribe button below as well as a little bell icon right next to it because that will ensure you get notified whenever a new video goes up. And if you are watching this on Facebook, make sure to follow our page, Cat Lady Fitness. So I've been using this thing for a couple of months now. And before I show you the footage that I got of Puppy. Here's a quick breakdown of what it looks like and basically how it works. It was really easy to set up. It has a super, super long wire that you just plug in, but it has a USB plug-in. He's purring because he thinks he's gonna get treats. I don't know if I can open it with one hand, which just goes to show how sturdy it is. One second. But the treats go in here. They have to be dry treats, um, definitely not moisture rich treats because then you'll risk it getting moldy. Let me shut it. You download the app, which is this Woe Pet app right here. So you can change the name of it. I changed the name of mine to Kitty Cam and it says it's online. And then you click it. This is what you will see here. You can see me. Hello. You can see that it's a really wide view, which is awesome. You can take a picture, which will save in a folder on your phone. You can listen in on what's happening in here, or you can actually talk to your pet. So you can't talk and listen at the same time. You can, the echo is me coming out of the cam because I'm sitting right by it. So we'll turn that off. So when it comes to the treats, you just hold this button. As you can see, it's just, it's really great. The, the only thing that I wish was different is it shoots out like six to eight treats at a time. And you can see, I, I had pretty moderate sized, average sized treats in there. I wish it was a little more precise with that, but here comes Puppy. You, you just saw them run across there. So holding this. See, 
feet. You see it shot them out. So let's see how many it shot. It, I mean, like I said, it shoots out a few and it kind of shoots them out all over the place. But and then looking at him, if I wasn't home, well, there's his brother. This is what I would see on the camera. So it's pretty neat. They're very excited right now. You can also record, I forgot to show. So what this does, and you can see up here it's recording, is that would record video and it saves on your phone, which is really neat. So the only other thing I'm gonna mention is if your animals are smart, which I have this on carpet, um, but it does have suction cups at the bottom. I would definitely suggest putting this on a hard floor if you can help it, especially if you are worried that your animal is going to possibly get into it, which it's, it's pretty hard to, to be honest. Besides that, my only suggestions would be to unplug it when it's not in use or cover it with a towel like this. So I'll be honest, the first time that I plugged it in and tested that treat feature um, and puppy realized that this thing dispenses little bits of food. He very quickly was trying to knock it over, kind of like aggressively sniffing the top of it to where I had a lot of doubt if it would work out as well as it ended up working out because I thought he would just end up knocking it over to where the camera would basically be out of commission as soon as he knocked it over because no one would be home to pick it back up. But surprisingly, that hasn't happened. And like I just showed, it does have those suction cups on the bottom. So if that's a concern of yours with your animal, you can just try and put it somewhere with hard ground where you can suction it down so it has a little bit more stability. Besides that, there really weren't many downsides that I found. I I'm not a huge fan of how it spits out like six to 10 tiny little treats. But at the same time, because of that, I don't utilize that feature very often, maybe two or three times a week. I'm also a little bit cautious, like I mentioned, of these devices with cameras in your house. For example, anytime I'm not using my Skype or webcam on my laptop, I have it covered up. Anytime I'm not using my iPad, camera little hole I have that covered up I just think you never really know right so so that might be a little tip for you guys and then another con which I don't really think applies to cats maybe more so dogs but if you're familiar with the Furbo which I think was like the original kind of brand name version of these pet cams slash treat dispensers that has a feature that allows it to notify you on your phone if your dog barks so it's cute because it could be like your dog is calling for you which i'm sure they can learn how to do but it can also be a safety feature if your dog barks only when somebody's outside or somebody's trying to open the door then it will alert you so that you have access to see what's going on in your house so when it comes to cats i don't think that feature would really benefit anyway. With this pet cam, you have to actually check in to the app. It doesn't notify you of anything. So if there's a noise in the house, anything like that, it doesn't have any feature that will let you know. So if that's something you're looking for with like basically just a dog, then you might be better off going with something like the Furbo. But now I wanna show you guys what you've probably been waiting for. And one of the first times that I actually made it a point to continuously kind of check in on Puppy and Alfred. And I know I'm, I know I'm partial. Aren't we all partial to our own fur babies? But it is one of the most endearing and kind of sad and just adorable and additional pieces of proof that our cats do miss us and they do recognize our voices because I did use the voice feature a lot where I would call to him and that's whenever he would run to the camera. And in this case, I mean, let's be honest here, there were treats involved. So of course that is going to keep his interest a little bit more. But in case you ever wanted to know what puppy does when I'm gone for, I think I was gone for at least six or eight hours, I will roll the clip.
you guys, I swear to you, if that TV wasn't on in the background, I would have thought that it froze and it wasn't working. But no, it was working just fine. He was just literally sitting in front of it for at least three hours after I left the house. Alfred was probably out on the catio. And usually, especially during the day, they spend most of their day out there, especially if the weather's nice, which it has been. So there are times where I've checked in on that thing and didn't even see them. And if I called, they wouldn't hear me because it's inside the house and they're semi outside the house. So as you can see, I get a real kick out of this pet cam, not just because it's so fun to check in on the cats and spy on them and kind of see what they're up to. But it also, I mean, acts as a security camera. So it has a super wide range of view, as you can see. And I have it placed to where it's looking in my living room, right at my front door. So if anybody was to ever potentially come in, and especially if you have Alexa and you set Alexa to guard your home when you leave, you have a pretty solid and safe system going. And I bet you guys are wondering, what about that giveaway? How can I get one? And I will tell you right now. So if you would like to win your own Wopet pet camera and treat dispenser, then all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, like this video, and leave a comment below with the cat heart emoji telling me how you think your cat or dog would react to this type of device in your house and even how it would be helpful to you, especially if you happen to work long hours or have a fur baby who is super attached to you. You can also get yourself an additional entry by liking this Instagram post right here, which I've probably posted in the last couple of days showing some still shots of puppy from this pet camera that completely crack me up every time I look at them because he just, he has so much emotion. So if you want to increase your chances, like that post and leave a comment below that picture as well. And for an additional bonus entry, simply share this video on Facebook if you're watching it on the Cat Lady Fitness Facebook page and leave a comment below there as well. The only stipulations are you have to be 18 or over since we're going to need your mailing address in order to mail it to you. And you just have to be a US resident because right now we can only mail it somewhere in the United States. This contest will end on January 30th at 1159 PM. The winner will be chosen on Friday the 31st and I will reach out to you to ensure that you qualify in order to receive this prize from this giveaway. And then I'll announce you in either a story or in a video that Saturday or that Catterday on February 1st. Oh, and I can't, I can't end this video without the meow out of the week. I feel like I almost forget every single week. So this week it goes to two people again. And those two people are Natalie Ellis and Claire Walken. Natalie and Claire, thank you so much for supporting your channel and for commenting on the last video about how I introduced Puppy and Alfred and how you can successfully introduce a new cat to an established cat in your home. I appreciate you so, so much, as do the boys, of course. And for anybody else, if you would like to be the meow out of the week, all you have to do is to like this video and also leave a comment below telling me your favorite part about it. And by the way, if you guys want to just go ahead and purchase this yourself, I will leave a link to where you can do that on Amazon in the video description, as well as in the pinned comment below. I believe I paid $130 for it. And that was with one of those $10 off promo coupons that sometimes you can check the box when you get something off Amazon. If you liked this video or found it interesting or helpful, please click that thumbs up below as it does help the channel out a lot. And all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.